Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer, with, and I'm so glad you're able to join Tom and I. Uh, we're recording this the night before. We uh, flew in from to San Antonio today, and uh, it was a beautiful day, uh, beautiful blue skies, a little warm, uh, but now it is thundering and lightning, and we're in our room, and we're getting ready for our meeting that we have with the Pastors Conference very early in the morning. So um, we're recording this tonight. So God bless you, and uh, so glad that uh, you'll be able to join us. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us worship him. Alleluia. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Um, alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us worship him. Alleluia. Our psalm today is Psalm 98. Wow, it's really, oh, look at it raining. Oh my, it's really raining. And you can probably hear the thunder, yes, yes. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things with his right hand and his holy arm. Has he won for himself the victory? The Lord has made known his victory. His righteousness has he openly shown in the sight of the nations. He remembers his mercy and faithfulness to the house of Israel, and all the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Shout with joy to the Lord, all you lands. Lift up your voice, rejoice and sing. Sing to the Lord with a harp, with a harp and the voice of song. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, shout with joy before the King, the Lord. Let the sea make a noise and all that is in it, the lands and those who dwell therein. Let the rivers clap their hands and let the hills ring out with joy before the Lord when he comes to judge the earth. In righteousness shall he judge the world and the peoples with equity. Let us pray. Lord, we sing to you a new song, for your victory is ever new. In the empty tomb, you have given us a glimpse of your future. And in your victory over death, you have shown us how we shall overcome the last enemy. As the seas roar and the hills sing together, we too will praise you for your great triumph. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Well, we continue reading in the book of Wisdom in the uh, 10th chapter, beginning with verse 1. Wisdom protected the first formed father of the world when he alone had been created. She delivered him from his transgression and gave him strength to rule all things. But when an unrighteous man departed from her in his anger, he perished because the rage he slew his brother. When the earth was flooded because of him, wisdom again saved it, steering the righteous man by a, a paltry piece of wood. Wisdom also, when the nations is wicked agreement, had been confounded, recognized the righteous man, and, pres uh, and preserved him blameless before God, and kept him strong in the face of his compassion for his child. Wisdom rescued a righteous man when the ungodly were perishing. He escaped the fire and descended on the five cities. Evidence of their wickedness still remains, a continually smoking wasteland, plants bearing fruit that does not ripen, and a pillar of salt standing at a mo monument to an unbelieving soul. For because they passed wisdom by, they not only were, uh, were hindered with recognizing the good, but also left for mankind a reminder of their folly, so that their failures could never be go unnoticed. Wisdom rescued from troubled those who saved her. When a righteous man fled from his brother's wrath, she guided him on a straight path. She showed him the kingdom of God and gave him knowledge of angels. She prospered him in his labors and increased the fruit of his toil. When his oppressors were uh, covetous, she stood by him and made him rich. She protected him from his enemies 
and kept him safe from those who lay in, in, in wait for him. In his arduous co contest, she gave him the victory so that he might learn the ungodly, the godlessness is more powerful, that, that godliness is more powerful than anything. When righteous man uh, was, was sold, wisdom did not desert him, but delivered him from sin. She descended with him into the dungeon, and when he was in prison, she did not leave him until she brought him the scepter of the kingdom and authority over his masters. Those who accused him she showed to be false, and she gave him everlasting honor. A holy people and blameless race, wisdom delivered from the nation of oppressors. She entered the soul of a servant of the Lord and withstood dread kings and with wonders and signs. She gave holy men the reward of their labors, and she guided them along a marvelous way and became a shelter to them by day and a starry flame through the night. She brought them over the Red Sea and led them through deep waters, but she drowned their enemies and cast them up from the depths of the sea. Therefore the righteous plundered the ungodly. They sang hymns, O Lord, to the holy name, and praised him with one accord, their defending hand, because wisdom opened the mouth of the dumb and made the tongues of the babes speak clearly. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our second reading comes from Romans, the 12th chapter, beginning with verse 1. I appeal to you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, to, pre to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, whom you is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may prove that it is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. For by grace given to me, I bid every one among you not to think of themselves more highly than he ought to think, but to thank with, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith which God has assigned him. For as in one body we have many members, and all the members do not have the same functions, so we, though many, are one body in Christ, and individually members one of another, having gifts that differ according to the grace given to us. Let us use them, if prophecy, in proportion to our faith, if service in our serving. He who teaches in his teaching, he who exhorts in his exhortation, he who contributes in, li uh, in liberality, he who gives aid with zeal, he who does acts of mercy with cheerfulness. Let love be genuine, hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good, love one another with brotherly affection, and outdo one another in showing honor. Never flag in zeal, be aglow with the spirit, serve the Lord, rejoice in your hope, be patient in tribulation, be co constant in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints and practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Never be conceited. Repay with no one evil for evil, but take thought of what what is noble in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends upon you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourself, but leave it to the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. No, if your enemy is, is hungry, feed him. If he is hung, uh, thirsty, give him drink. But For by do, so doing, you will heap burning coals upon his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now, now in these last days, he has spoken to us by Christ. his Son. This, this is the day the Lord has made. made. Let, us re Let us rejoice, rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed, <laughs> Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. 
You, my child, shall become the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory Glory to the the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. Alleluia. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. Let us pray. Father, you restored your people to eternal life by raising Christ, your Son, from death. Make our faith strong and our hope sure. May we never doubt that you will fulfill the promise you have made. Grant us through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so very much for joining Tom and I. I hope you have a safe and blessed day. Um, I hope to show you some pictures of San Antonio. We're right here on the river walk, and it was a beautiful day. We were out a little bit earlier there and, and walking around, and now the rain is really coming down, but uh, that's okay. It's what brings flowers and nourishes our, our soil. So God bless you, and talk to you tomorrow. Join us, please. Bye-bye.